Hey everyone, Tristan back with another video and in this video I'm taking a look at reviewing the Cardis Clear headphone cables. Um, I've got them attached to my Sennheiser HD 800S's and the main reason I got these is because they smooth out the tone a little bit. Uh, as you know, if you've been following my channel for a while, my ears are kind of sensitive to highs. I don't like harsh highs or harsh trouble at all. And uh, these cables smooth out the trouble a little bit without actually taking away you know, from the frequency response. Uh, they just make the highs, especially in the extreme highs, a little bit smoother uh, versus the stock Sennheiser cable. The stock Sennheiser cable is really a good cable. Uh, I've covered this before in my uh, previous you know, video for when I reviewed the HD 800S's. This is it here, the balanced uh, version. Really a nice cable, nice and light, good build quality. Um, the only thing is Sennheiser uses silver in these as well as copper. It's like um, silver coated copper. And the silver actually helps give a brightness to the overall sound signature, I think, up top on, in the treble. So I wanted to kind of tone that down a little bit, and that's where the Cardis Clear cables uh, come in. In terms of aftermarket uh, headphone cables, uh, they're probably one of the best because it's actually two actual cables all the way down. You know, most headphone cables split up into two actual cords for the left and the right uh, once they get up here on towards the earpiece, but this one is actually two all the way down. I don't know if you can see that uh, in the video. And um, it's also a balanced cable, so because I have a balanced amp, so it's the four pin balanced. And uh, this is an all copper cable, so it doesn't have any silver. And I actually do notice that it actually gives a smoother overall presentation uh, to the audio, and kind of, and it kind of doesn't make the highs, uh, you know, quite as harsh. So if you're like me and you're sensitive to harsh trouble, this might be something that you want to do. Even though the HD 800s's are still smoother in terms of the trouble than the older HD 800s, I still found them a little bit bright on the top end with the stock cable. And then swapping in this cable actually really did help a lot. Um, I find that I can listen for longer without getting fatigue. And my ears don't really get that sort of minor tinnitus that I would get with the stock cable. After listening for about an hour, um, one of my ears would kind of start ringing a little bit, whereas this one I can listen for a lot longer before that happens. Um, and it happens to a much lesser extent. So just looking online here, what they say about the Cardis Clear cable, it says it's their finest headphone cable. Clear is actually two separate cables, one going to each ear. With concentric conductors, clear headphone cable is a miniaturized version of the top of the line clear speaker cable. And then it goes into some of the specifications, but mainly it's an all copper cable, it's a Litz cable, and you can get it terminated in a uh, quarter inch stereo plug or a uh, you know male XLR, which I have mine terminated in here. And um, also it's not too heavy. You know, a lot of the aftermarket cables are really super heavy when you wear them. This one isn't, I'll go ahead and put these on. Uh, this one actually, I mean, it's a little bit heavier than the uh, stock cable, but really it's not too bad. And, and from what I'm hearing with this, it does give a better quality, uh, you know, to my audio. So it's got a very nice build quality and, you know, quite flexible. Let me see if I can go up closer to the camera and just show that to you. Here's the plug right here, and then you can kind of see, you know, the build quality of the actual cable. And you kind of see the two cables right there going in to the, to the plug. And you've got these dividers here that you can move up and down too as well to keep, you know, it sort of keeps the whole cable together. So, this one I believe is nine feet. It does come in, um, you know, different lengths and stuff as well. The build quality of this cable is really, really good. And you know, aftermarket cables can be kind of a controversial topic. A lot of people say that they don't make any difference at all. But I would encourage you to um, take a listen or go to a dealer that carries different cables or go to a you know headphone meetup or something like that and see if you can listen to different cables because I really trust my ears and I definitely do hear a difference. Um, and you know, so if, even if people say, oh, cables don't make a difference, well, I do hear subtle differences and so it makes a difference to me. So this cable really has a very high quality build quality to it and does improve the sound for me. However, it is a bit of an expensive cable. I think it retails for something like $689, which is uh, quite frankly, quite expensive. Although I have seen cables up even over $1,000, which is just ridiculous for a, a headphone cable. But that being said, if you're perfectly satisfied with the stock Sennheiser HD800S cable, um, just don't even bother with an aftermarket cable. It was just for me that I definitely noticed, uh, you know, the harshness and the highs. And so I wanted to see if I can swap out the cable and maybe, um, you know, get a little bit of a better um, sound out of uh, my HD800s, which are already, you know, very, very good, granted. The other thing is that Cardis in general is one of the aftermarket cable companies that I trust. Uh, I really don't trust a lot of the other ones. There's a lot of makers from other countries 
or just uh, independent makers that make up a cable and sell them for exorbitant amounts of prices. And they haven't really done any science or testing behind the cables. They just, you know, buy the materials and weave a really nice cable and charge like 1800 bucks for it or something like that. You know, I think that's kind of ridiculous. Uh, whereas the stuff that Cardis puts out, uh, I generally trust and have been really impressed with most of the stuff, if not all of the stuff that they've put out in the past. So um, that's one of the other reasons why I wanted to get this cable. Now, in addition to sort of smoothing out the highs for me, the Cardis clear headphone cable also gave me a little bit more of a definition uh, in the instrumentation in my music. Uh, that meaning the space around each instrument uh, just seems a little bit more, little bit more defined. Um, now it's real subtle, but I do definitely hear hear that difference. So you know that was another plus with these cables as well. That, and again, if you don't uh, have any problem with the stock cable, uh, like I did, then there's certainly no reason to get an aftermarket cable. But you know, I did want to talk about it and the reason why I got this one. And if I wasn't really pleasantly surprised with uh, the way that this did smooth out the sound and you know give more of a sort of presence to the sound, I probably wouldn't do a video on these. So I um, just thought I would do a video on them. Again, this has been my look of the Cardis Clear headphone cable on the uh, Sennheiser HD 800S's. As always, if you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you thought it sucked, give it a thumbs down. And be sure to check the description field for more information and the comments field for community and discussion. See you in my next video.